This Cam Twist tutorial is going to cover some of the troubleshooting techniques used to getting Cam Twist working on your system. Maybe you're not seeing video, or maybe Cam Twist is interfering with other applications. So first things first, you need to make sure that before you launch Cam Twist, your web browser is closed. So I'm going to completely close out of Firefox in this instance. Then I'm going to go back, go to my Applications directory, Cam Twist, and then Cam Twist. Once Cam Twist is open, even if there's nothing running inside of Cam Twist, that's okay. Cam Twist just needs to be open, and then I launch my web browser. Now that my browser is open, I can go to stickem.com, click on Go Live, and it will pop up my live streaming console. Now, if this is the first time you've ever loaded Cam Twist in this particular ap application or on this computer at all, you may need to select Cam Twist as your video source because. Stick'em or Ustream or Justin TV may be showing your eyesight camera, but not your actual Cam Twist video. So I'm going to go over here just so we can see something. We'll add a webcam in Bubbles. Uh, you can see it in my preview window here. Great webcam in Bubbles. That's fantastic. So I'm going to go back over here to my live window. And you can see it's actually working right now. That's because I've set it up correctly. Right click over here, click Settings and click on the webcam option. You're going to see a bunch of different cameras. By default, my system was actually set to Blackmagic, but yours would probably be set to USB Video Class Video, which is going to be your EyeSight camera or your USB webcam. Make sure instead that it says Cam Twist in this drop-down menu. So click on Cam Twist and click Close. Your Adobe Flash settings need to say Cam Twist before this is going to work. Great, so that's working, but what if it's still not working? Well, if you're using Safari, there's an option inside of Safari called Rosetta. That's going to load it in emulation mode, but we need to turn that off. So I'm going to click on Applications, scroll down until I find Safari. I'm going to hit Command-I or right-click and say Get Info, and you'll see this little checkbox right here saying Open Using Rosetta. That will prevent Cam Twist from loading at all. You won't even see the Cam Twist drop-down. Make sure that this is not checked, just like so. If Rosetta is running, you're using emulation and the, the plugin will not operate. Okay, that's all great, but it's still not loading. Well, there are a couple things you can do to make sure that it actually installed correctly. First thing we're going to do is, this is my main hard drive. It might say Macintosh HD for you. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go to Library. And scroll down to QuickTime. And I should see a camtwist.component sitting in here. If you don't see this, either go back to the camtwist disk, Im disk image. So I think we've got one deleted right over here, so we'll grab that. You can go back in here, and inside the camtwist disk image, you'll see a manual install folder, and you'll see the camtwist component. You can click and drag that right over here, and that will install your camtwist component. If you do have it, and it's still not running, you may want to hit the Cam Twist forums and see what's going on. It's also worth noting Cam Twist does not work with Hackintosh. Something in the Hackintosh prevents Cam Twist from properly running, so you do need to have an official, actual, Apple-branded, Apple computer in order for Cam Twist to actually work. Don't know what it is about the Hackintosh, but have an actual Apple computer and Cam Twist will be running just fine. So but make sure the components in there, make sure Rosetta's not running, and also make sure the Cam Twist was running before the rest of your system. That's going to make Cam Twist actually operate. But what if the opposite is happening? What if Cam Twist is taking over an application that you don't want it to take over? For example, Photo Booth is presenting Cam, Cam Twist, but Cam Twist is closed. You don't need Cam Twist for Photo Booth. Photo Booth has its own effects. Well, we can prevent that. So in the Cam Twist menu, we'll click on Cam Twist and then go to Preferences. And you'll see this don't load Cam Twist driver unless Cam Twist application is running is checked. So that will actually help you. But if you're still getting into problems, you can actually say, you know what, I don't want Cam Twist to load. When we'll go over here, we'll go down to Applications and we'll say Photo. So here's Photo Booth. I don't want Cam Twist to load with Photo Booth. So I'll take Photo Booth and drag it right over here. And now, when Photo Booth loads, Cam Twist won't be loaded with it. So if, if Cam Twist broke your Photo Booth or whatever application you might be using, because that application is expecting to see an EyeSight camera or a DV camera or some other camera, if it was broken after Cam Twist installed, just drag it right over here. Make sure don't load the Cam Twist driver in these applications as checked, not the other way around. If you really just want to prevent anything else from working, you're only going to use Cam Twist inside of Firefox, then you can click on the only load Cam Twist driver in these applications, and then I'll take Firefox, drag it over here, and now Firefox will be the 
only application that can see cam twist. So iPhoto, excuse me, uh, Photo Booth won't see it. None of the applications, other applications will see it, and you should be good to go. One other quick thing worth noting is that Cam Twist 2.0 does support multiple resolutions, and this can kind of get a little bit wacky. So if you're having issues, click on the video devices, select the video device, and you can click the force camera resolution. If you're getting stuttering video or video that just isn't working correctly, figure out what the native resolution for your camera is. Enter that in here and click force camera resolution. Don't try to force a resolution that isn't native. That would be a bad thing to do. That it might actually make the problem worse. But, you know, for example, my camera is 640, 480, so I could type in 640, 480, force camera resolution. But it's working just fine right now. So, so those are some troubleshooting techniques. If you're still having issues, you can go to the Alec Init website, go to Cam Twist, and click on Forums, and ask your question right there. And one of the incredibly knowledgeable Cam Twist support representatives, myself or Steve or maybe one other person, should be able to help you out.